we are at Cafe Georgetown. Georgetown by a big truck. There's a Levine here, so if you want to get your cookies, they have them. So cute. As we were walking by, I picked up a too good to go order. So this is from Captain Cookie and Foggy Bottom. It was $5.99 for $18 with the value. So I'm gonna go pick it up now. This is the info for the Captain Cookie and Foggy Bottom. $5.99, these are how many cookies I got. It looks like about 12. Update, there was a baker's dozen, 13 cookies. So there was one that's a odd man out and that one's that one. I think it's a peanut butter one. Duke's Grocery. World Bank. I put my mask on because of the leaf blowing, but here is the Dwight D. Eisenhower building. Washington Monument, White House, and French is very huge now. Check out this great view of the White House. <laughs> so this fence is huge now. I don't know if it's like cutting off the camera how oppressive it is, but also like the bars are really thick. I remember when it used to not be like this. It feels like such an old curmudgeon. You can kind of see the White House from here. Back here you can kind of see the White House too. Back here you can kind of see the White House. But you still see all of the construction in front. Planet Word Museum. It looks like there's a school group, um, but it looks like it used to be in the Franklin School. Here looks like it's a heritage trail here. Walking all around the side, so this looks like where the entrance is to the museum. On the other side is the restaurant. 
I reserved online. Our lunch reservation is before the museum reservation, so this is where the entrance is for the restaurant. And this is Immigrant Food Plus. There's a couple of other locations. Immigrant Food Plus, a planet word, does have a bar if that's what you're interested in. Okay, so here we are at the Planet Word Museum. Back here is a sculpture and it has speakers and the little white cup things and then it, you can hear all these different languages. Waiting for the bus back to Georgetown to do a little bit of shopping, but here's the treasury. Uh, there is the Washington Monument. We gave up on the bus. It kept getting more and more delayed. It was like a 27 minutes delayed. Here's the treasury from the back. <laughs> There's the National Christmas tree. And there is the Washington Monument. 
so here's the other side of the White House. We used to be able to walk a lot closer, like even a decade ago, but this is what it, what it is like now. Walking back to the station and we just had to take a pit stop to the World War I Memorial. When the lights blink, it means the train is coming. Dinner for tonight. dinner it was pretty good I, it was a very hard to get reservation I booked it about two months ago but um yeah it got really busy at around 7 30. okay so this is the to good to go bag that I picked up at the Phil's coffee so this is an Adams Morgan $3.99 supposed to be $12 worth of food got way more than that so let me show you what I got um, so it is a combination of savory and sweets so let me I'm trying to figure out how to show you what I got so here are the cookies we already bagged up some for gifts um, so I'm gonna put the sweet ones over here so here is a chocolate croissant these were all about $5 when I saw the worker put them in the bag. So this one's a chocolate croissant, very fluffy. This one is another croissant. I believe this one's almond. Has some almonds on top and some powdered sugar. And then here is yet another almond croissant, I believe. No, this is just a regular croissant. Look at the fluffy layers, so many flaky layers. Here is the, um, cheddar and chive scone so this is a savory item so i'm gonna put it back in the bag here is um this one's the ham and cheese croissant so the savory item will stay in the bag here is a chocolate croissant here is another flaky croissant And then here is a blueberry muffin. So actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'll put the savories in the cookie box and then I'll have the sweets in the bag. So um, it looks like there are two, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Yeah, there are eight items in the bag. So definitely got way more than $12 worth of food here.